These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. Let's take a look at uh, what Smart Schedule is. If I um, go to the work mode and uh, choose a different work mode and scroll to the bottom, the last option on a hybrid menu is the Smart Schedule option. If I pick Smart Schedule and click OK, the save button disappears and it doesn't allow me to save it because this is another smart mode and the smart modes are not selectable by the user. Smart schedule is a work mode which is only available if you have a data hub connected to your inverter. Now a data hub is a different piece of hardware. It's a little box that connects to the internet, it connects to your inverter and it has a little bit of processing power and more memory um, to run and process more complex schedules. It monitors your house load and learns from that pattern. It also looks at the weather forecast um, so it can predict what PV input um, there's going to be. Um, and it also takes in um, agile tariffs um, so that it knows which the cheap charging slots are and which the most expensive charging slots are, um, both for importing from the grid and exporting to the grid. From all that information that it gathers, it can then decide when is best to charge a battery, when is best to discharge the battery, and which mode the inverter should be in at what times. And uh, this is supposed to be learned as it goes along, so it's machine learning. I personally haven't tried a data hub, and I don't have one here to demonstrate or test, so, so I can't show you exactly how it works. And it is still in development, and I'm just really here to give you an overview of what Smart Schedule is why it's a work mode on the inverter and how you can get more information and look into it if you want to do in the future. Because it's connected to a data hub, um, it also has the data hub advantages. You can um, select all number of if uh, then conditions um, for, for the working of it. The data hub can connect to multiple inverters. It can control the export limit on many inverters at the same time. It can upgrade your firmware. Um, lots of features and functionality in the data hub. Um, at the moment, it's not really targeted at the residential market. It's much more of a commercial product. Although um, what it offers in, the, in as far as AI or machine learning or um, agile tariffs is exactly probably what the residential user needs. And uh, so hopefully in the near future, the data hub will be able to buy for residential customers and they'll make it easy to use so, so that uh, we can get the most out of it. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.